everyone and welcome to another edition of Inspiration for Singles and Married. My name is Pastor Baby Sola Olajide. I'm a resident pastor with Christ Church Ministries in Arlington, Texas. And if you're new to this channel, this is a channel where we talk about life, love, relationships, and everything in general. Feel free to like, uh, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos if it's a blessing to you. Today, by the grace of God, I'm going to be sharing a very important topic. Woohoo! And what is this topic all about? It is how to behave when you're visiting the in-laws. This is Marimatics 104. Yes, I said it. Marimatics 104. Sometimes it is very, very important for us to learn how to behave when we are visiting our in-laws. Nobody teaches us all these things in school. So it's very good to have a platform where we can discuss and rub minds together about what to expect and how to behave when you are visiting your prospective in-laws for the first time or even subsequently afterwards the first thing i'd like to say is be yourself there is no substitute for being yourself do not carry a false air do not be pretentious just be yourself be comfortable in your own skin don't try to be somebody else don't try to you know overly impress now i know you want to impress but to the extent where you are completely somebody different from who you are that is a big no-no be yourself the second thing i'd like to share is don't go empty-handed don't go empty-handed make sure you go with something decent something presentable and something tangible that they will appreciate especially maybe for your mother-in-law for your father-in-law i want to assume that at this time where you're talking about marriage you're already working and earning income don't go with some cheap kind of gifts you know that they will not appreciate at the same time you don't have to buy a brand new car because you want to impress them go with something in your hand another thing that you should do is dress modestly and moderately dress modestly dress moderate moderately and dress presentably you don't want to look overly dressed you know uh, for the occasion but you should be appropriately dressed especially if the person you're getting married to is from a different culture don't say I, 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 I want to be myself I want to be myself and then you dress in such a manner that will be offensive at the same time don't go there dressed in a pink suit red uh, lemon green jacket and purple shoe you know don't go there looking like a clown because you are trying to make a good impression with your in-laws so make sure that you are appropriately dressed for the occasion be calm and friendly when you get there make sure that you are nice you're friendly don't go there looking hung up or stuck up you know be nice be calm be friendly if they're cooking dinner ask politely can you join because not everybody wants you to join them in their kitchen so just ask is there anything i can help out with and if you're done with dinner don't expect them to come and pack your plates help with cleaning up after dinner that will help to show that you are from a good home with you know good home training and then, don't talk too much some people they talk 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 even questions that they didn't ask them they start talking don't forget look even though you are being a you know visiting your in-laws you are actually going to be cross-examined this is one of the final steps to determine whether or not you're going to marry this person and they have a say if they say they don't like you they don't want you that might be you know a contributing factor to whether the relationship will result to marriage or not so don't go there and just babble 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 and talk and talk about controversial topics like politics like religion you know for example your in-laws are catholics uh roman catholics and then you begin to speak in favor of pentecostal church mm -mm, don't do that or maybe your father-in-law is a chelsea fan and then you begin to talk for arsenal look you're going to set off a third world war so don't even start it just if they say yes yes okay oh that's good that's what you think about it if they ask for your opinion you can say i think you know i feel uh -huh. that is better than just arguing strongly for or against emotion yeah it's not a debate 
so don't forget you are being cross-examined okay so try as much as possible to remain neutral there will be time obviously in the future when you'll be able to you know state your points more clearly and more in a, in a more responsible and respectable manner but this first time that you are going that's not the time you are supposed to go and be fighting and arguing and you know don't do that it's not then, necessary um don't reveal too much about yourself especially when you don't know whether you are going to be accepted or not you've told them your family history your grandfather was a herbalist your mother was used to be a prostitute in the 70s but she gave her life to jesus mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. don't do that not yet does that mean you should hide things i'm not saying hide things there will be time to reveal certain things but at this first you remember you are going to give an impression so it's just like going for a job interview see when you get on the job some of your weaknesses your flaws will eventually show but the goal is for you to give a good impression so that you can move on to the next stage of your relationship now if you're a liar i expect you to repent and give your life to jesus if you are if you have very troubling personality and behaviors um i expect and i believe that you should repent and change so that you don't go there saying you are one thing and then they discover that you're another thing in the end no i believe that you are born again you are changed you are sanctified holy ghost filled so but i'm just talking about general personality um quirks that might pop up from time to time we all have them so don't forget the goal is for you to be presentable to be acceptable and for them to look at you as somebody that their son or their daughter will be safe with don't forget they are also nervous just like you are you might be nervous they are also nervous they don't want somebody who is going to come and steal their son or their daughter away they want you to be a part of their family just like they want to be a part of your family so you have to give that impression that look you have nothing to worry about i i want to be a daughter in this family i want to be a son um you are not losing a child you're actually gaining one so that's the impression you should pass across and i pray that as you do so god will help you another thing you should do before you go is to pray that god will reveal certain things maybe in the process i remember there was a story about a lady who went with her so-called fiance apparently the guy has been bringing home a lot of ladies sleeping with ladies and you know ladies once they say take them home to mama it's as if they have become wives so a lot of ladies have fallen into his trap even many that initially will say oh they don't want to be intimate with him the moment he takes them home they feel like they have arrived and then they give up everything and then he sweeps them away one that day went before she went she prayed and the holy spirit revealed you know through the sister of the boy that look my sister if it were me i cannot marry my brother hmm. it looked like a joke but only for her to discover later on that this guy was a pretender and he was a wolf in sheep clothing so don't forget as they are investigating you you also you are checking to make sure that this is a safe family that you want to enter because i'm telling you you are not marrying just the man you are marrying his entire family you are marrying a culture you are marrying a generation you're not marrying just the woman you are marrying her upbringing you are marrying her family you are marrying everything so just like they are checking to make sure that you are safe to come in you also should check to make sure that you are safe to go in as well may the lord help you so don't forget all the points i've mentioned be yourself don't go there empty-handed dress appropriately moderately and modestly and then don't talk too much and avoid controversial topics and pray may the lord help you as you do so in jesus name god bless you till i come your way again don't you ever forget this god loves you and so do i